tourists come in all shapes and sizes in Europe. But travel, holidays, leisure and sports during the holidays for people with disabilities is unpredictable, difficult or sometimes even impossible. Tourism for all, including destination, accommodation and information accessibility for people with disabilities within the EU's new tourism strategy was the subject of an EPP group hearing here in Brussels. Tourism is the EU's third largest socio-economic activity accounting for 10% of GDP and 12% of total employment figures. But quality of infrastructure, transport services and information varies widely from place to place as well as between EU member states. Lack of accessibility standards increases uncertainty, reduces travel options and allows a lack of accountability to prevail. Italian Commissioner for Industry and Entrepreneurship, Antonio Tajani, underlined that the new EU strategy means tourism for all and this is important for European economy. The European Commission will present a, a quality label uh, before the end of this year. This is the guarantee for all citizens. I underline the problem is freedom, freedom for all. I think tourism is an important right for all European people, but also with these new rules it's possible to, to attract a lot of tourists coming from Russia, from China, from South America, uh, from USA. And tourism is a very important sector, it's the only sector going up during this crisis. The total potential market in Europe is estimated at 89 billion euros. 80 million people with disabilities live in the European Union. And if we add friends and families, that makes more than 133 million potential tourists if all countries improved accessibility for all to the tourism market. The Italian EPP group member Carlo Fidanza underlined we can open this new path uh, not just as a social issue. Uh, we, we are not speaking about social tourism uh, itself. We are speaking also about an, an important opportunity in terms of uh, economic growth because we have a, a great potential uh, of uh, these uh, tens of millions uh, of disabled or PRM uh, in Europe uh, which we have to to, uh, to make uh, a full and complete uh, tourist as the other ones. The Spanish EPP group member Rosa Estaraz Ferragut explains how Europe can achieve this goal. In primer lugar, um, First, we have to unify the quality standards. The Commission on Tourism and Transport is working on it and also to unify the standards of accessibility. When someone plans to travel, they can check the accessibility options. It is very important to have standard information on this issue because now each country has individual standards and there is a risk that this information is not complete. Second is awareness. It is very important that the local infrastructure is barrier free. We have to work on that because this improves our competition. EPP group member Adam Kossa from Hungary, the only deaf MEP in the European Parliament and author of a report on mobility and inclusion of people with disabilities, calls on the European Commission to take his report into account for the European Accessibility Act, which will set EU standards for products, services and public buildings and will underline ageing-related issues and the potential market for people with disabilities. I think our aim needs to be full access for all people. Tourism is one sector, but it's a very important field for accessibility. Secondly, what's also very important is that the European people, the aged people, there is going to be a growing population. The younger population will be less, so it's important that it's important for all European citizens. That's the goal, not only for the disabled, but for all. Tourism for all is actually a win-win situation. It can develop employment opportunities with new specialized jobs within the tourism and care sectors, for example. It can promote European cultural heritage to all visitors to help European economies with new investments. For more information on that issue, please visit our site eppgroup.eu. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.